June 7th, 1993. The Mighty Ducks unveiled their home white jerseys and their purple road jerseys. So you guys recognize this. It's familiar to you guys. The Ducks home jersey. And you probably recognize this one right here. The Purple Road jersey. I remember that day, June 7th of 1993. And I know all Ducks fans in Anaheim and all the Orange County community surrounding the city remember on the newspaper on the TV and the reveal of the duck headed shaped hockey mask inspired by the Jason Voorhees the hockey sticks in the background the three diamonds and by the way this is the purple road the Home whites was purple diamond. Well, not purple, sorry. Green diamonds. So, both jerseys create this distinctive, unique design that was, in my honest opinion, ahead of its time. Why? Take a look at this. A slanted stripe. Purple, not purple, green or jade at the lower bottom of the hockey jersey. A white stripe, a purple stripe, a silver stripe. It's not just the lower bottom of his jersey. It's in the sleeves too. I'm bringing this up because our jerseys, the original Mighty Ducks jerseys, at that time was so different than the other hockey jerseys and the traditional hockey jerseys back then. It was four years later in the ESPY Awards, the inaugural ESPYs, if all of you guys know by, by the name. In 1997, it was voted one of the most fashionable jerseys of all time back then. I mean, I can, I can understand that. I mean, my goodness. The way it looks, I mean, the way it's so, the, the way the way it stands out to any hockey fan or hockey aficionado back then, whether it's the home whites or the purple roads, it was something that created that uh, uniqueness. And sorry if I say it so many times, but that's one word I always have to say because uniqueness and the Mighty Ducks original jerseys. It's the one thing that I can see. It's probably the one thing that all hockey fans and people that buy these kinds of jerseys back in the day was something that was so eye-popping, eye-catching at the time. I mean, the unique, distinctive look, the logo, I mean, of a, an aggressive hockey Playing duck with Friday the 13th, Jason Voorhees vibes back then. I mean, in 1997, it was outselling all NHL merchandises in t shirts, jerseys combined, even hats. I remember back in the day, the hats, I wanted the Mighty Ducks hat, and I bucked the hell out of my dad's so many, many times. And I probably, most of you guys back in the day growing up, you did the same thing too. Now, these are throwbacks. But back then, these were a cut above the rest. They were something that you want. But back then, weeks before the expansion draft in 1993, these things were... These gangs were gold. You wanted these because of the way it looks, the way it makes the player stand out. And about a few weeks after these 
Jerseys were revealed, uh, unveiled, excuse me. The Ducks drafted players from Guy Bear, Bobby Dollies, Randy Labasser, Sean Hill, Anatoly Semenov. And let's go on. I mean, I can list all the players, but that will be for another time. These things, along with the hats, the Mighty Ducks logo, featuring the duck headed shaped hockey mask was something that was so iconic over the years from 1993 to 2006. Everyone, every hockey player and non-hockey fan and hockey fan and hockey aficionado and all over the world. When you think of the Mighty Ducks, when you think of this, this, this uh, guy right here, they think of him. They think of... Uh, what it stands for. I mean, I'll tell you what it stands for for me personally. Growing up in Halifax, Nova Scotia, and yes, I am from Halifax, Nova Scotia, the home of the Mooseheads, and where Ducks legendary goalie J.S. Jaguar uh, honed his craft as a goaltender. This team behind me um, was something new. I mean, these colors that you see behind me was something that caught my eye at a young age. I mean, I didn't have a team to root for. The only th teams that, that were there for me was Boston Bruins, Toronto Maple Leafs, Detroit Red Wings, Montreal Canadiens, New York Rangers, the list go on and on and on. Uh, and I'll tell you this, uh, most of these teams don't appeal to me. Because for me, my younger brother was getting into hockey. And um, I was not a good skater. I was, But I was very supportive of my brother. And what piqued my interest is how you have players coming together wearing colors and winning the main goal. And, uh, you know, but that's another topic to, to discuss. Back to not having a team to call my own. And uh, when the Ducks unveiled their jerseys, both home whites and road purples, and unveiled the colors of purple, jade, silver, and white, it caught my interest. It caught my curiosity. I mean, I'll tell you right now that Today, all 30, or now 31, with the introduction of Seattle Kraken within a few months, the teams back then and the, and the teams now, the team's jerseys back then and, and now, they were all bland. There was nothing unique or distinctive that drew my attention back then when I was growing up. What drew me was the fact that you have a duck-headed shaped crest that would look like it's ready to, to, to defy the odds, go against the grain, ready to give anyone a beatdown in the sport of hockey. You have the hockey sticks crossing there in the behind the duck mask. You have the three triangles, both silver and purple. Then you have the Slanted stripes here. I mean, white and both green lower halves, and even on the sleeves on both home and roads sweaters. For me, growing up, and I believe that most of you can agree with me, these things caught your attention. I I I I know this. They may have caught your attention. Now, some of you were, and I have to admit, I talked to some of you guys, and I know for a fact that some of you were not too keen on these back then. And I know that talking to some folks I remember growing up, including a few friends, they laughed, they called it a novelty, they called these things a, a scam, a marketable, um, 
ploy by Disney at the time because they were named after a children's movie. And that's the one thing about it because that's the one thing. Because hockey, like all sports, be it baseball, basketball, always have a jersey that have that people, that players play together as a team to win a championship. And I know and I remember people say that they don't see the name Mighty Ducks win the Stanley Cup. <laughs> oh boy, when are they so wrong now? After 10 years, after this was in 2003, 10 years later, I remember. They were in their words. It was like, hey, I respect those guys. Or that's another that's another story in it in, in the birth. But anyways, what I'm trying to say. These, this, this colors here, I wanted that jersey. And I wanted the, that, this jersey, both the purple and the white, both the home and the road jerseys. They were something that drew me in and something that... And keep in mind, I was just a young kid back then, and I believe many of you in Orange County, California, in the city of Anaheim, can understand where I'm coming from. You want a team to call your own. And when the Ducks were founded, when the city of Anaheim, when the Mighty Ducks name was unveiled on March 1st, and about two months later, on June 7th, of that year of ninety of nineteen ninety three, when the jersey and the logo, when the logo and the colors were revealed, it, it started to pique your interest, and it did, and it did for me, and I'm sure it did for every kid, every young adult, every senior citizen, every uh, grandparents, uh, mothers, fathers, kids, and neighbors, and all curious about. All intrigued by this, all intrigued by this, by, by this jersey that stood out 28 years ago, and it did. It did for me, and it, I'm, I know it did for all of you. And about four years ago, four years ago, when the NHL celebrated their 100th anniversary, the league. Uh, Unveiled a, um, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say, um, like a, a vote or something like that. Or they gave people a chance of all NHL fans and hockey fans a chance to vote who were the top, uh, the best logos, the greatest logos and uniforms of all time. And it was pretty surprising and it made me feel pride in this team and the logo. And I look back on it each day because the NHL um, opened up a website called NHL's Greatest Uniform. And they had a voting list. And out of that voting list, the Mighty Ducks logo, this logo, from 1993 to 2006, was voted number three, the best logo of the NHL. And in my honest opinion, the best, probably the best logo of all time. One of the best logos of all time. I know there's other sports teams logos from English Premier League to the Finnish Elite League to the SHL. You name it, but hey, to each their own. What I'm trying to say is this. When I began to follow this team, this was the, what you call it, the first step. I'm sure most of you are all Ducks fans or many uh, hockey fans feel the same way too. You got the colors and now what else? We wait for the second stage to happen back then. And that was the NHL expansion draft. And as much as 
I like beginning the NHL expansion draft. I will tell you this. Being someone who was a bookworm back then, I let's just say I personally felt that the, the, the team did their homework. And it did. It did do their homework. And looking back now and looking at the logo, the uniforms that were revealed to all of us, uh, many of you can agree. And I can agree that we had no regrets about this logo, about the uniform. Now, some of you may not like the logo back then, but I know for sure that the majority of you uh, grew up with this logo. I grew up with this logo. I'm sure many of you too. I'm, I'm sure some YouTubers have grown up with that logo. Uh, Coach Zach Gray, I'm sure the, the folks at uh, Ducks and Pucks crashed upon. They probably grew up with this logo, grew up with this uniform. And uh, by 2005, 2006, the, um, the Mighty Ducks made the transition from the Mighty Ducks to the Anaheim Ducks, which began the short era of the wordmark logo. And... We know how that uniform, uh, many of them, it has been debatable, but all in all, we all, all, all have our favorite favorite jerseys back then. So it was something, it was something that uh, that I enjoyed, that I that I always appreciate. Even like when the Ducks, when the Mighty Ducks were on the, on the rise in 2003, I was wearing this one and I wore the home lights with pride and honor. And many of you have done the same thing because these colors, the purple ones, the, not the purple ones, the purple roads are now the homes and the home whites or road whites were the colors of the underdog. They were the colors that brought us together. The logo was something that made us feel whole. And it did, and it did. It did for all ages, and it did for for everyone, of, regardless of, of their race, gender, class, religion, uh, the nationality. I mean, there, I mean, I have come across Ducks fans in uh, Finland and Western Canada and Ontario, and even even when I was in in New Jersey. I mean, there was a Ducks fan who who told me, like, said, "I love your jersey. <laughs> I love your hat." And told me, like, why can't the ducks go back to the old duck head shape mask or the, the duck hockey headed shape mask or something like that? Because by 2015, 2016, about 10 years later, after the ducks made that transition that switched from the, like, from the Mighty Ducks to the Anaheim Ducks, there was a resurgence and always a call for the colors, but well, not the co not only the colors. But the return of this guy right here. Because it was something that we all grew up with. It was something that we uh, always identified the team with. Doesn't matter if it was the Ducks D or the Ducks word mark. It was basically, how would I put this away? It was one. Of, it was. It was. It was our. It was our brand. Okay. And it was one ranked one of the best logos. I mean, I mean, come on. If it's ranked, it was. If it was voted number three in the NHL's greatest uniform like leaderboard poll or ranking or whatever back then four years ago. Then it says something. It says something about, and I keep on going back to here because I always appreciate this, the, the the purple the purple road oh well, the purple road or home back then the purple jersey and the white jerseys because they were one of the best designs and they were one of the best uh, not only hockey jersey uh, designs but also the best of all sports. 
That's the one thing about it. Because I'll tell you right now, this one here, the purple jersey here, the purple uniform, and the home home whites, or not the home whites, wrote, <laughs> sorry about it. It's been a long day for me, so. They were a work of art. They were a work of art. Whether you love it or hate it, they were a work of art. And by 2015, 2016, there was a slow grow of uh, wanting to return back to the civic roots of the underdog logo, or not the underdog logo, the underdog mentality that the Ducks always have. Because under these, these, these colors, for the first 13 years, the Ducks had to fight, clawed, bite, uh, fight to the bitter end, went against all odds in these colors. And that was it. Was it money well spent? Yeah, it was. I mean, I remember well, my dad paid a lot just to get, just to get, just to get these two for my birthday back in the day. So <laughs> it was, and it is what it is. I mean, I mean, in years past, I mean, I mean, there has been many Ducks fans within the Ducks fan base that wanted to have. I won't call it a restoration, but a slow return to the Ducks, lo the Ducks, the, the Mighty Ducks logo. And I can't blame them because that that jersey over there, it was it was a civic heritage. It was basically our personal heritage. And that's something that no hockey purist, no troll, or not anyone can change. And that was my first impression about that. Simple as that.